Pops is so eager, he wouldn't let me get my camera before he started sanding. What are you doing, man? Loviaximus Maximus. I have no idea what that is. Bloviating master. Master bloviator? Yes, yes. I see. All right, anyway, uh, we're back again. There's another tiny little dent in the hood there, I think. All right, uh, so sanding day. Um, all of our plans, as we were discussing, might be foiled because the weather's kind of turning on us. So it might rain tonight and this weekend, so we may not be able to get everything done we wanted to get done. Um, you're already sanded through the primer here, man. What are you doing? Yeah, saw it. Watch it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Watching it. All right, anyway, so uh, just much sanding today. So, uh, like I said, we're going to get these guys up to 320, and this thing will save till later. And then, same thing, we'll block that down with 220, 320. Hopefully, get all this done. Everything's here, sanded, smooth, happy, ready for epoxy. Um, I went and picked up the. PPG primer surfacer today. Here, that stuff. And it's very expensive primer surfacer. Um, that's the 2K primer. Um, but we're all set. We got all the stuff we need now. So hopefully the weather will cooperate. All right. All right. Yeah. So you ready to get to work? I am. All right, let's do it. All right. So this is what we were talking about yesterday. Sorry. Yeah, um, that you couldn't really see easily, but I noticed this when we first got the fenders. You see these little low spots here. You can hardly feel them, but they're there. So as soon as Pop started blocking them, boom, they popped out. Um, so he's got some 80 on the block right now, and what we're trying to do is just knock it down to get this first layer of guide coat off, um, which will get rid of any orange peel, um, etc. I'm trying not to sand through the primer. Just knock the orange peel off um, with 80, right. and, and then uh, the the skim coat of the uh, the outside of the filler and everything is usually the hardest. So once you break through that, it's usually easier to sand. So knock it down with 80, then we'll switch to the higher grits so that we don't have a ton of sanding scratches in here. Yeah. Right. Yes. All right, there you go. See, pop does work. Yes, I do. Leave the camera on top for a while while I go around to the other side of the car.
There's big balls in the paper. Got a lot? There's big chunks in the paper. Yeah. Parking it out. Jumps. spot here so two low spots and a high spot so I'm probably gonna have to tap that down so even with all the feather fill we put on here we're still breaking through the primer in some places so
filler on that. The physical All right, Pops is done. Uh, he actually switched to 120 somewhere along the way there. Uh, so this is in 120. He's going to go to 220 now. Carry on, put some more guide coat on there. Off we go. Surface is just completely like glass. Huh? Looking good. Almost looks like I had done this. Ooh, that looks good stuff. Now look at that, huh? Okay. Looking pretty good. So. so we were talking about earlier, even with the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, um, all the stuff we put on here, we're still getting down into epoxy in a few places. So it's not as thick as it looks. Uh, so we still have to be careful when we're sanding it down. Hopefully when we're done with all of this, you'll see the epoxy peeking through in a bunch of places, which tells us that uh, we're very, very thin, which is what we're looking for. This is your survivor. That's mine. Hands All right. off. All right, Pop says this guy blocked down with 220. Uh, I'm just going to work on this body line a little bit here and crisp it up a little bit. As we said yesterday, it was a little dull. Um, and while I'm doing this, he's working on the other side where I was. I got it up to 120, so he's taking over over there. So we're switching sides. Off to it, man. <laughs> There's not a lot of material above that line there, so hopefully I can... Do something. Be careful. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, there's enough for me to crisp it. It's amazing, as soon as you switch to 220, it's like you don't feel like it's scratching the surface anymore. It's, oh, just, it's like, just like glass. It just like glides over yeah. and you get this, this talcum powder coming off. Much above the line reminds me of the story of Mattel. You know, you have a production line, and the industrial engineer is trying to balance each station. Of... All right, so I flipped the tape over, and now we'll get it from the other side. I'm so tired of this. Thing. Yes. 
salt. How beautiful the surface is. Yep. And hold it just one time and it has life. See then, that's all. Camera. You see that at this bottom edge right there. You see the gray line, but not here. So that's what I'm trying to get rid of in that gray line there. Down to the primer. Huh? Down Out to the, through the primer? Down to the epoxy, it's as far as I can go. Let's pull it off, see what that looks like. That line's nice and straight, I think. Pretty good. But all we're gonna get. All right, Pops has moved on to 320 now. I'm gonna get a shot of this here if I can. You can feel how smooth that was. So pretty. Um, and then on this side, I've been working down below here. There was a big dent down there that we missed. I filled that in. This guy's in 220 up top here. Just need to finish all the guide coat left here and then he's ready for 320. So we're almost done. Okay, we are done in 320. Um, so I was just saying to Pops that pretty much wherever we had done body work is where you see stuff showing through ish. Um, which means that's about as far as we could sand this stuff. Um, these panels were pretty straight in here and so nothing showing through so that's good um, this panel was a little worse than the the other side i actually needed filler on this one so i guess i had to put filler here 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 and down at the bottom there as you can see uh, so there's a lot of metal showing through on this one but the next step after this is epoxy so we'll see a lot of that so now we're going to go do the hood 220, 320, and then we're done. So we'll pull this tape off as Pops was just saying, put it on the fenders so we don't damage the fenders. Pops is exhausted? Yes. Yeah, so am I. All right, we'll wrap this up and call it a day. Look at that, it looks like racing stripes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try the white guide coat. I'm still not convinced the efficacy of this stuff, but we're gonna try it. Top off. Get off of there. It certainly leaves something behind, but does it actually matter when you get around to sanding? I don't know. I'll do your trick and just spray this stuff on there. 
So we know this thing is full of scratches, so hopefully it will show up with this stuff. Otherwise it's kind of useless. Right? I think I'll put soft rods and flour in that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can bake a cake. There you go. Do you sell rods and flour on cakes? I think so. Why not? I'm not a baker. Well, what's wrong about what we need there? I know. I mean, she should be baking. It's like sitting at home watching TV. All this energy we're expending. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to talk right to one tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I can see orange peel. Like to see the orange peel? Yeah. I'll shut this off. You don't need to watch this whole process. Okay. So it's telling pops it does, the white guide coat does kind of show the orange peel pretty nicely, which is good. Um, but will it show the scratches? And you can see the scratches here, but will it show up in the guide coat? I don't know. All right, have at it. Got some 220 on this guy. Yeah. See how pops got a head start. He couldn't wait. He's so eager because he loves sanding so much. <laughs> that $500 power tool I never get to use. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, let's see. Hydraulic my foot. Hey, don't push, don't push too hard. Dent the hood. Pops, Pops is working so hard, he's moving the car. Now we're probably gonna have to clean the paper a lot. Yeah, a lot. This yeah, because of the, the epoxy. It's gonna. Nasty. You see all the orange peel in there? Well, that's good. You get those lumps. So make those scratches there. Yep. Hopefully by the time we get to the 320, that'll go away. Yeah. Have to change it off and look. Yeah. Doesn't do any good. Well, you can still do a little bit more with that before it's gone. You're still doing something. As long as you're getting those kind of scratches, you're still doing something. But yeah, we're going to have to change it fast and, and often. Do you want to work on the long blocks or do you want to use the short block? I'll take the minimum one, two inch block. Okay. Oh. Painting stick. <laughs> Paint, Paint stick. There, you'll work on that corner right there. Yeah, I got there. it. All right. Minimize damage. Yeah, why don't you take the little blocks and you can, I'll, I'll work with the big one then. Sounds good to me. Trade, trade for now. If you're finding that it's easier to sand with small blocks, they don't gum up quite as fast. Still gums up a lot though. And the white guide coat is useless for scratches. Doesn't yep. show anything. Good for orange peel though. So, I think the long blocks probably aren't super important anyway because we're not really trying to level this. Yeah. There's just basically just, you know, that one thin coat of epoxy, so we're just trying to take scratches out. So, I don't think the long blocks really matter. Um, probably, uh, we'll try again on the 320 and see if it works there. All right, that's done in 220. Um, the epoxy sands pretty easily. It just gums up the paper so fast. Um, you can see it's still shiny there. So that's what we're using for our guide coat for the scratches, basically, is can you see them reflecting there? Um, so it's they're almost all gone. So we're going to hit it with 320 now. And that should do it. You can see that over there probably better. Right? So after the 320, we should be good here. And it's getting late. 
6.04. 6.04. Oh, that's really late. All right, so we're going to try and wrap this up and get out of here. All right, so this is sanded up to that edge there pretty well. It's not really anything showing. Uh, Pops has this side done in 320 up to there-ish. So we're going to flip the line to the other side. And then he can come back over and work on this side, and we're done. Right? Almost. Alrighty. We are done. Let's see how our hood line came out there. If you can see that. Looks good. Uh, so this blocked out fine, because it was a pain in the rear because of the clogging of the paper, but uh, it came out good. Um, so... Uh, this guy's basically ready for epoxy and 2K now. Um, as we said, there's a few spots left on the car we have to finish up minor stuff, but everything else is in 320 now. Ready for action. Pretty exciting. This is a big milestone, Pops. Yeah. I mean, we're not quite there, but almost there. Almost. You're good. Oh, we did real good. This is a big, big day today. We worked our tails off today. Um, but we got all of this done, which is great. So the plan would have been to paint tomorrow, but I think the weather's going to suck tomorrow, so we'll see um, if it's not at least, I don't know, 68, probably won't do it, 68 degrees, and you know, reasonable humidity. It's usually never humid here at all, right, but it's the storm system coming through, so... If it's mid 60s and like 80% humidity, I don't think we're going to be painting. Um, but you guys tell me what you think. If you think we uh, we should paint anyway, well, maybe. Still a little shiny over here. We're going to clean this up a little I'll bit. I'll let you do that on the night shift while I go home. Yeah, pick that up tomorrow. We'll just take a Scotch Bright to that stuff. Yeah. That's basically the next step, is except for the bottom of the car, just go around the car and look for anything that's shiny and scuff it up. Um, in prep for paint. Of course, you have to clean everything. It's filthy. Um, that's all right. All right. That's going to do it. Any last words, Pops? No, I'm happy. I'm going home. I got work to do outside still in the dark. <laughs> hey. well, that doesn't sound like fun. All right. Yeah, I'm beat. You're beat. How's your shoulder? I feel great. Your shoulder's it's still my good? thumb. That one. It gets me after a while, you know. Yeah. Shoulders good, though? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's what I tell them. They don't know the difference. Right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Danke. Fila. Fila. What's Fila? Fila, danke. Many thanks. Many thanks. Oh, so yeah. I learned something new today. I'll forget it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Good night.